So what you about to do this weekend? Any plans? Nothing much. Just doing some laundry and catching up on some shows. Yeah, I need to catch up on a couple of shows, too. I know um, Black Mirror came out with a new season. You know, that's a good show. And I was going to also check out you the... You have one minute remaining. To continue this call, please send a cash app payment. If not, please hang up now. Wait, are you, are you serious? Goodbye. You know, it's kind of sad, but that's what it's come to. On one hand, you got him saying I'm an independent boss type chick. And then on the other hand, you go to the same girl page and read her bio. She got Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, all that stuff in the description, in the bio, right? Every time they get a chance to ask for money from men, they doing it. Yo man, go to work and work 40, 50, 60 hours a week, put food on the table, and you sit down, time out, thank you, Jesus. Your man combated institutional racism the all of society trying to put him dead or in jail you give the kids the plate first then he get his plate last then you say everybody let's hold hands and y'all hold hands you bow your head and be like thank you jesus for this nourishment we're about to get thank you for providing this food in our stomachs to nourish us we ask that you continue to bless us No, you did not. No, you did not. So I have a story time. So I was going to work today and I usually don't drive because there's no parking. And so um, I was driving, I mean, I was taking the public transportation to work and there was like a bunch of crackheads and um, one of them asked me for money. I'm like, um, I don't think I have money, but let me double check. So I went in my pockets, checked if I have if I had like cash. I'm like, sir, I don't have cash for you, but like next time I see you, I'm gonna make sure to bring cash. You feel me? Cause that's just the type of person that I am. And before I could even get a word out, he punches me in the face. Like straight up just rocked me. I don't know if you could tell that one eye is more so one than the other, but man's rocks my stuff. And I'm like, whoa. And I was too stunned, like too stunned to speak. So I just caught a police and he went to jail. I was waving at him while he was in the car because there's no way you're about to punch you because you need money for me. And I unfortunately don't have cash to give to you, but I offered you to give you cash the next time I seen you. Like that was random as hell, bro. I don't know about y'all, but I didn't see the story taking that type of turn, man. I think I want to f my dentist. I beg your pardon. You fine? Thank you. He not. He not. He not fine, y'all. Okay, first of all, I don't know if I said this here the last time I was here, but I haven't been having consistent sex for a very long time. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go. See I haven't been having consistent sex so much that my praise kink is now spilling over into my everyday life, right? <laughs> so I went to get a root canal the other day, right? Oh, God. And while I was there, he was like, ooh, you're such a good girl. <gasps> you're, no. being, you're being such a good patient. Wait, he was saying it like that. <laughs> now, said, granted, he probably wasn't saying it like that, but that's how I heard it, right? <laughs> because I ain't had none in a while. That's how my mind heard it. So he was like, yeah, you being such a good girl. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah? Right? I ain't gonna She's lie. Like, like, Baby, call me a good girl. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Right? Call and me then, a good girl. When we was done, he <laughs> like... <laughs> Look at her lips. Shit. <laughs> When we was done, he like took a napkin. He was like, well, let me get this off your mouth. I don't want you walking around with white stuff you on your face. You didn't imagine shit. Nasty bitch. Bro. No way, no dentist was saying that to you. And you just made up how he was. Nah, he was, he was doing something. It wasn't with those inflictions, but he said those words verbatim. And my pussy heard it. <laughs> it was, it was, just a little bit. Doo -doo. Just a little bit. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> she heard it. It was pulsating. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Dr. Bruno, what's up? <laughs> you know what's interesting about this one? If you starve a person, bro, food that they normally wouldn't eat is now on the table and they would eat it. When food is plentiful, they would never look at it. No different than when a woman is sexually frustrated. Men that she would normally not give a chance, bro. If he say the right things, he's smelling the right way, looking the right way, he could get it. Here she is talking about she want to give it to her dentist and all he did was say, you're being a good girl. Let me wipe that white stuff off your lip. You get what I'm saying, bro? Women are not too much different than men. They be wanting to get their back blew out just as much as you want to blow their back out. Rate yourself from 1 to 10 and then think of a celebrity that matches the rating that you give yourself. I would rate myself an 8. Um, I would say Big Lotto. I love Lotto. I think I'd say like a 7.5, 8 around there. Name a celebrity that Lord, would match you. Lauren London, I say. Lauren London. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say 
say I'm an eight. Okay. And the celebrity that would match me is Tiana Hold Taylor. Up. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Tiana okay. Taylor. So you're eight and Tiana Taylor is an eight. Well, rate yourself one to ten. Just looks? Yeah. I'm going to say a ten. Like, Rihanna, boy, what? Okay. okay. I so think Rihanna, Rihanna, I like Rihanna. She a ten to me. Okay. Show of hands. Do you have in your DMs that you never replied to that looks halfway decent, but you just, you're not giving no time or attention? Four hands better be up. <laughs> All four hands. All hands. Okay. So here's the truth. None of you ladies are a 10 or an 8 or anything close to that. The reality is a 5 <laughs> <laughs> Because all you ladies are single. You do have good guys in your DM. But you choose not to reply to these guys because y'all all think y'all 8 and 10. And if y'all don't think so, then y'all the problem. You know, the delusion is real, bro. I know women in real life who think they look like certain celebrities, entertainers, actors, and stuff like that, and they look nothing like them. Like, they look as much like the celebrity that they're claiming to look like as I look like Denzel Washington, bro. Like, and then they friends just sit up there and cheer them on. It's crazy. Tell these women the truth. You look nothing like the person you're talking about. I believe a man can love a woman unconditionally, but I don't think a woman can love a man unconditionally. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I beg to differ. I, I think it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I think a woman can love a man unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And not most for, men. Not forever. You don't think so? No. Damn. No. I think when a man loves a woman for real, like, he'll love her forever. Carlos Miller explaining why you should never go matter. through we your woman's phone. phone. Niggas are going your phone. Hey, fellas, don't you go on her phone. You going to find every. Thing. But y'all don't really you do that it. as much as women do that. Like, I feel like women, we start That's at a place of... we know what's in there already. We start at a place of, exactly he's probably going to cheat. I don't want to go in there. But y'all don't want to know. Like, I, I don't want to go in there. Not because like you I, take, I gotta share it, this with you. This happened to my guy. homeboy. He thought his lady was cheating and he went through and her. And she phone. was. And he he found the wrong shit. <laughs> what he found? Man, he said, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the pictures in the text message. I said, the pictures? He said, yeah, man, the dude was holding a dick so big, I thought he, I holding, I I thought he was holding a sweet potato. I said, <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> bro. What? What? Say, bro, I'm going to tell you some real shit right now, man. If you're slightly overweight and you feel like you want to lose some weight, go through your girl's phone, man. Trust me. You're going to find what you're looking for and you ain't going to be able to eat for a couple of days. Drop a couple of pounds. Works every time. All right, y'all, on today's segment of Positive Vibes, we got a woman preparing a lovely meal for her and her husband or fiance. I just know she got a ring on her finger. Uh, very feminine looking, man. I think y'all gonna enjoy this one. You don't get to see a lot of women acting in their true feminine nature as much as you would like in 2023. And uh, yeah, y'all gonna like this one. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw today. Send your videos to thatboywillreacts at gmail.com. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe.